So we'll go ahead and press the same button to activate our adaptive cruise. However, now you see hands free. So I can fully take my hands off of the wheel and it will do the driving for me. What is up folks? Ethan here at Hunt Ford in Franklin, Kentucky. And we want to do something really exciting. We have a 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E. And what is going to be really interesting about this one is that we have Blue Cruise activated on this vehicle. So I thought I would take you out and give you a quick demo of how Blue Cruise works on all of the vehicles that it is going to be active for. So you are going to have access on it for the 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E and the F-150s right now. Uh, that availability will be able to come out a little bit sooner on other models in the near future and we will keep you all posted as that happens so that you will be able to have the opportunity to have Blue Cruise on your vehicle. So what you have to do to activate Blue Cruise is once you put your vehicle in Ford Pass, it will give you your connected services. And once you get those connected services, it will update the map on the vehicle and you will have the ability to change your adaptive cruise with your active lane centering. It will change it from that to full Blue Cruise. On this model, we have the Comfort and Convenience Group and that is going to give you your heated steering wheel, your heated seats, a few other options, and what is also included, that is the Blue Cruise package. So this vehicle is going to be enabled. Once we got it hooked up to our Ford Pass app, it enabled that connected navigation and actually gives you the opportunity to say, your Blue Cruise is now ready. So for example, right now, when I turn it on, So for example, right now I'm going to turn on our adaptive cruise and it has the active lane centering. So as long as I keep my hand on the steering wheel and apply a little bit of pressure every now and then, it's going to do a pretty good job of keeping me in the lane and driving for me. For example, I have my foot off of the brake and it does a pretty good job. It doesn't do much in the way of really driving for me. I still have to do a little bit of pressure here and there. And it kind of just bounces me around the lanes as it sees them. So impressive on its own, but not truly hands-free. So when we get on the interstate, we're gonna hop on I-65, which is going to be included in the map area for Blue Crew. So we will take you all for a quick hands-free test drive. So we will get up to speed here on the interstate. One thing that the Blue Cruise allows you to do is it allows you to set a tolerance for the speed limits. And you can do it in increments of one mile per hour up to 20 miles under the speed limit and up to 20 miles over the speed limit so that your max speed will only be what you set it over the speed limit. So we'll go ahead and press the same button to activate our adaptive cruise. However, now you see hands free. So I can fully take my hands off of the wheel and it will do the driving for me. So 
This is absolutely the way of the future. It does take some getting used to. There are some areas where it seems like there are a few things in the works. For example, it thinks that we are in a 45 mile per hour speed limit right now, whereas it is actually still on the interstate of up to 70 mile an hour. It read the 45 miles per hour speed limit on that turn station. So we're still working on ways to improve, but the confidence level is pretty high here. So you tell us, we are really impressed. It would be great in the near future to see what capabilities are possible. Again, I'm not putting my foot or hand on the brakes. It is very much so controlling what it thinks it needs to be speed wise. So the Mustang Mach-E obviously is Ford's first sort of technology into full self driving of the future. So let us know in the comments, what do you think? Are you going to be an early adopter of this sort of technology or is it kind of something that you're waiting to feel out on your own and get more information and more experience before you try it out? Let us know down in the comments below. Other than that, folks, we appreciate you taking a short little bit to ride with us you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to the channel we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming out in the near future if you have any questions or any comments please let us know down in the comments below we always enjoy getting down there having a conversation with you all about these vehicles that we are talking about other than that folks that's about all i've got for you